there guys, so I'm kind of redoing this video for the tutorial on epoxy sculpt, what it is, where you can find it, all that other fun stuff. So basically epoxy sculpt is a two part mixture, part A and B. You need the B part to make the A part harden. Um, so epoxy sculpt usually comes in two containers, one says A, one says B. Um, you need to make sure that when you mix it that you get the just about the right amount for each one. It doesn't have to be 100% perfect. It's better to actually have a little bit more hardener than a little bit more epoxy um, because if you don't have enough hardener, the main part will not harden all the way. Um, so with epoxy sculpt, um, it does come in different sizes. This is the 8 ounce. Uh, this was about 20 something bucks for an 8 ounce. Um, and the larger containers which stand about, you know, up to here, there are like three of these together. That's about 40 bucks. Um, and of course, you know, shipping is expensive because the 40 pound ones are very heavy. Um, now, for finding this in the U.S., um, some craft stores carry it. Uh, you can try your local art store, um, but you may have to order it online. It's spelled epoxy, A-P-O-X-I-E, sculpt, S-C-U-L-P-T. Um, it's a molding compound uh, or modeling compound. And the nice thing is, is that it's very, 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 very strong. Um, and it's... Just it's wonderful stuff to work with because it works exactly like clay. You know, you can add water to it and sculpt it and all that stuff without it ever breaking. Um, so it's very, very, very good. And uh, but a couple of things you do need to remember is is that this stuff does harden. So you do have a uh, working period depending on your temperature and your humidity. I usually have a working period about maybe two hours because we are a little bit drier here. Um, but if uh, you live in a moisture climate, you may have a little bit longer time. Of course, that does vary. Um, and another thing that I got asked about this is that can I use clay? The answer is no. Do not use clay on my horse. It's not strong enough. It will not last. It'll break. It'll shatter. It does not bond to plastic well. Um, it's just an overall mess. I don't recommend it. Um, epoxy sculpt is actually for sculpting on multiple surfaces like metal and um, all different sorts of things. So do not use clay. Uh, the only thing you can use is epoxy sculpt because it is rated for plastic and you can use it on just about anything. So I've got this horse here. I want to do some rework on him. So I've actually pulled out his tail. I want to give him a longer mane. I want to bring up his bridle path a little farther, give him a longer forelock. Um, I want to give him some better genitals, cover up the Peter Stone. Um, and I think that's it. So what you're going to do is you're also going to need some clean water, preferably warm. Um, you're also going to need a variety of like things like sticks and um, like crafting sticks or whatever. Things that you might find comfortable to work with when you're sculpting. So just to use to make, you know, your main lines and to use. So here's two pieces. It's always best to go with a smaller amount than a larger amount um, because you don't want to waste it. This stuff is very expensive and you know you don't want to waste it. So you also got to make sure that you get this stuff mixed up very well. So what I do is I usually kind of smush them together like this, put them between my hands and then I do the roll technique and then I'll fold it over, roll, fold it over, roll, fold it over, roll, and I'll keep doing this and it gets it mixed up very well because you're you're rolling it out which um, gets it mixed up and then you're folding it. And then of course you can knead it a little bit too if you feel it needs it and as you work it it will start to get warmer um, and right now because this is mixed together I now have officially two hours of working period. Um, 
and then after that usually it, it gets pretty hard and you can't do much else with it. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to do his, uh, let's do I guess his mane first. Okay. So I'm going to take small pieces like this and I'm going to start pulling them out kind of long. You know like you're making like a little roll or something and I'm going to start layering them on him and he's going to have a flowing mane so what I need to do is to make sure that I pull this mane back because the mane will be flowing that away um, and then of course with the last step because I actually want a little bit of a curve to his mane um, what I will do is in the last step I will fold it up place it on something so that this tip of the mane actually folds up you'll see when I get there it's kind of hard to explain so I'm going to do this all the way down the mane and I prefer to do it this way instead of glumping it on because it'll actually give a very, very, very nice depth to the mane because you're doing it like hair would grow and um, it does take a little bit longer but I prefer not to glump it on. So we do this all the way down here. So as you can see, I'm starting to build up the mane as I go down his neck here. So you can see I've got quite a bit there, all the way down his mane. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a piece and I'm going to try to go down the length of his neck to fill in any areas. So I'll start up here and I'll just kind of work it in.
Okay, so you can see I have this nice line here and then the main part. So now what we're going to do is we're gonna actually going to start sculpting this a little bit. We're going to start um, adding some details and uh, other things and that's going to be in the next part of the video.